The Bible says in Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good. Isn't that a great scripture that people describe Jesus? They couldn't put him in a category or label him. And no one could really own him. He was just a man who went around doing good. What a great description of our Lord and Savior. And wouldn't it be great if people looked at us as a church, as Christians, and said, I really don't know much about them, but I do know that they're going around serving their generation, doing good. When the coronavirus hit Los Angeles and we went through the lockdown and one of the first places ever to go through the lockdown, it was very strenuous for many of the people in our community. 30% of the people in our neighborhood lost their jobs during that time. And we're still in that era now, battling through many of the heartache and destruction that's happened. We started a food line for 380 days in a row, a drive through where people would come by and we would hand them their food and they would just keep going. Well, it turned into 5 million meals that were served during that time. But it was always about the one. The first day they would drive by, they would get their food and look away in shame or maybe embarrassment. But as time went on, it became a counseling center. Doing good opened up people's lives. They were telling us about losing their job and the heartache and the experiences. And one lady came by and every time I gave her food, she was so thankful. Oh, pastor, we love you. We appreciate you so much. And but weeks went on and I didn't see her. She didn't come by the line like she normally does. And finally, she ventured into that line and I saw her and I said, it's been a long time. Where have you been? She said, well, pastor, I live in my car. I have no gas money, no way to get here. And she said, my car is my rent and the gas money pays my rent. When I heard that, I was so devastated. And I said, well, we're gonna give you gas cards to keep your rent going, which was your car. She kept showing up and um, would give her a gas card and she would make it through the line. And one day she said, Pastor, I need to tell you something. She pulled over to the side and she said, I had a gun in my car and I was gonna kill myself. But every time I would drive by and I would see people cheering for me and happy to see me and people giving away food and having a little party for everyone who came through to get the food. She said, all I needed was one person to believe in me and then I knew I could make it. And then she said the final words, Pastor, thank you for taking the gun out of my hand. It's amazing what can happen with just a little bit of doing good. We might not think it does a whole lot in people's lives. We might not think we're really making much of an impact. But the truth is, by doing good and serving others, we become oftentimes that point of transition that people need from destruction to transformation. The ministry of doing good. Find a need and fill it. Find a hurt and heal it. Live every day of your life with your head on a swivel, looking for a way to be a blessing in someone else's life.